Two low pressure systems are working us over this weekend in a wet way. We've got an Alberta clipper to the north and a Colorado low coming up from the south and the two combined have already brought at least an inch of rain to most towns in our area. I've heard some reports of already two plus for some rain gauges in Duluth, but what we're looking at here is future rainfall. How much more could come down through Tuesday when the system finally leaves? And in Minnesota, that could be anywhere from a half inch around Baudette to maybe two more inches for folks in Hibbing. In Wisconsin and Michigan, it should be fairly juicy too, with about an inch and a half coming around for many towns, maybe another three quarters towards Waters Meet. The rain will come in very handy. The fire danger was reported as very high as late as Friday afternoon with two inches of rain coming around. Hopefully that goes down. This week, temperatures take a bit of a dive here thanks to some gusty winds towards 30 miles per hour and thick cloud cover on Sunday. Northwesterly wind will drop us to about 38 degrees for a high with a good 90% chance for more rain through the day. For Monday, it's a 70% chance for more rain. High will try to wind up to 45 degrees as gusty winds become more easterly. And then finally by Tuesday, as the sun breaks out in the afternoon, we'll rise to the occasion, hit 62 degrees, and the winds should start to slack off. So then we get a calm period Wednesday, Thursday, 55 to 60 with some sunshine. Another shot of showers comes around for Friday and next weekend might be a little sunnier than this one. Looks like partly sunny and 55, which is pretty close to normal.